Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure, she has been confident, and that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. of the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey, Amanda Nunes, Holly Holm, and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense team. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Caitlin Lovita Jukadia. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight Champion of the world, Manon the Beast Fiore! Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here is the perennial flyweight contender and legitimate divisional threat, Caitlin Chukagian. Trains under Henzo Gracie and John Danaher there back on the East Coast. And shout out to her husband, Kyle Sermonara, as well. A hugely unified force in the corner and career of one Caitlin Chukagian. And she's not overthinking the matchup here tonight. She understands that perhaps her opponent's going to want to put her on her back, but she's putting the time, as she says, the hay is in the barn. And wherever this fight has to play out, she said, I'm getting the finish to her. So the newly minted Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Caitlin Chukagian, showing off that footwork in the jab here early. Yeah, you know, she is a grappler, and she has developed in that skill. But what makes Caitlin Chukagian special is her ability to move around the octagon effortlessly and fight behind that beautiful jab. She is a high-level boxer, and it has shown throughout her UFC career. Oh, nice elbow. Couple of chins here being tested early. She is a counter-striker of the highest order. That is the book on her. She will use her opponent's aggressiveness against them at times. And if she can continue to do that throughout this fight, the advantage could swing the race. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, full-on brawl. I mean, give us an ooh-wee or something. Ooh-wee. These two young 
ladies are really going after it. And she should still head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. Well, she hasn't gotten the finish yet, but it's not for a lack of effort. Several huge uppercuts have landed, and prevailing wisdom is she goes right back to it here, I would think. She has to go back to that. Why would she not go back to it? You don't fix something that's working. It ain't broken. Don't try to fix it. She is a... How about these two going at it? Misses with the right hand. It's beautiful leg kick. She gets in very close and gets to the single collar tie. Fjord swelling now around her jaw, so we'll keep an eye on that storyline as this fight continues, but she has absorbed a lot of strikes to the head thus far. Man, it's hard to remember her kicking game being on this level in the past. She made it a focus during training camp, and tonight you see the results of all the time spent kicking during training camp. And now that's the danger in the engagement there. Big head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Trying to set up that counterattack. Big knee there. Space and get some separation. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Nice front kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Lands a good series of kicks here. strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, Caitlin Chukagian's boxing looks pretty sharp here tonight. You gotta think Mark Henry, Ricardo Almeida like what they're seeing out of Caitlin here in this one. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Under a minute now to go in this one. Yes. Nice, good strikes. Keep oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Battling for hooks. Good exchange there inside. Blonde fighter going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Immediately gets the underhook. Well, in the clinch, but she's staying active. Beautiful punch to the head there. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. Ready to fight. Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is underway. Will this be the round in which she gets the finish? Nearly had it earlier today. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's gonna have to be so smart to reach the final bell. Oh! Oh, that's my hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Finish, finish, finish. 
Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocks her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she has to go all out to try to finish the fight. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Oh, nice connection by her there, and that one actually cut her open. Cut her open. I mean, you can see, if she didn't move her head, she was gonna get hit with something that'd get some damage going. There goes a cut. She's still standing, but she's gotta get on her bike, John. She's gotta get out there, she's gotta get out there, right in space, so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Big right hand. Such a crazy fight. Under three to go round two. Nice jab there by Caitlin Chukagian. Footwork on point, and she has found a home for that lead left arm. She's about as pure a boxer as we have in the UFC. The way that she moves around the octagon shows that she has spent a lot of time in the square circle. But it starts with the jab, and the jab comes off of that great footwork possessed by Caitlin Chukagian. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Well, she has had no a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. She gets back up here, but she is on wobbly legs. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Manon, the beast. All right, so she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion as she gets it done by knockout here.